I'd like to share some benefits of coffee that you may have never heard about. Now, coffee is the most addictive substance on the planet. And with over 2 billion cups of coffees served today, and that was actually 2016, there's a lot of people who drink coffee. And I'm definitely not about promoting any addicting substances, but if you can keep your coffee at a small amount, okay, there are some really interesting benefits. Now, I personally only drink one cup of coffee every single day. I don't put sugar in it. And I make sure it's organic because coffee is one of the most chemically treated crops of all crops. In just one acre of coffee, some farmers use up to 250 pounds of chemicals. Not to mention when you use uh, herbicides like Roundup Ready glyphosate, that actually destroys the uh, soil as well. So if you're going to drink coffee, definitely do organic and don't do too much because the side effects of coffee um, are definitely negative effects on your sleep, uh, negative effects on your cholesterol, and too much coffee can definitely affect the cardiac rhythm and give you arrhythmias. But I think most people know coffee improves your cognitive function. It can improve your physical performance. It can positively affect your mood. But there are eight uh, additional benefits that I want to share with you that you may have never heard before. Now, I've extracted a lot of this uh, information from my new uh, favorite research tool called elicit.org. I'll put a link down below if you haven't heard about it. It's a tool to extract uh, data from over 2 million different papers. So number one, coffee has the ability to lower your risk from dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's because of what it can do to your nervous system. Coffee helps prevent oxidation to the neurons. And it does it through a very special protective gene called NRF2-ARE. So this is protection against the death of the neuron from oxidative stress. All right, number two, coffee can lower the risk against gallstones because coffee has certain phytonutrients that stimulate the production of bile, the flow of bile, the hormones that control the gallbladder contraction and relaxation. Coffee can help thin the bile, which sometimes becomes congested and can back up in the bile ducts and cause all sorts of pain in the gallbladder area, in the liver that can radiate to your right side. But remember, if you're putting a bunch of crap in your coffee, like sugar and syrup and things like that, I'm not talking about that coffee. And the reason I want to bring that up is because when you're consuming conventional coffee with all the pesticides, that can put a strain on the gallbladder and your liver. All right, number three, coffee has the ability to lower the risk of getting kidney stones. And there's even some research that shows that it can even help counter chronic kidney disease. All right, number four, coffee can give you an anti-carcinogenic effect. So it's anti-cancer against the prostate, colorectal cancer, skin cancer, as in melanoma, as well as liver cancer. And number five, coffee has an anti-inflammatory effect. So if you have inflammation from arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, any of the itises, coffee can help. All right, number six, metabolic syndrome, okay? Where a person has insulin resistance or they have too much insulin. Metabolic syndrome is a combination of having high blood glucose, it's high blood pressure, it's high cholesterol, and it's definitely involving blood sugar issues in insulin resistance. All right, number seven, coffee has the potential to decrease risk of all-cause mortality. Coffee can apparently help you live a little longer. And again, all this research I'm going to put down below. You can check it out for yourself. And lastly, number eight, coffee is hepatoprotective, which means it supports the liver, as in decreasing the risk of getting a fatty liver, as in decreasing the complications from hepatitis B and hepatitis C as well as the complications from liver cirrhosis. Now, a lot of people who are on keto uh, do the uh, bulletproof coffee, which is totally fine. You add a little MCT oil and butter, and that will help you fast longer. Both these fats added to coffee uh, can spike your ketones and give you more cognitive benefits. And if you haven't seen my video on the bulletproof coffee, I put it right here. Check it out.